hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel let's get right into the february reading wrap up for this month which was tiny but mighty like every book that i read i thoroughly enjoyed and when i tell you that is such a plus like i don't care if you read 10 books that were bad then you're gonna cry but if you read four good books you're gonna cry again but happy tears <laughs> okay so let's get into it the first book that i read was the cheat sheet ah, by sarah adams this is best friends to lovers I ate this book up. I genuinely loved how cute it was and simple and just like an easy read. And the romance was actually super sweet, probably because it's closed door. It is a closed door romance. So like the author really had time to focus on those little things that make romance so fun to read. And ah, I just, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. So read it. <laughs> oh, I give it a four out of five stars. I think I said it was either four or 4.5 out of five. Honestly, I am going to reread this book because to be honest, I would love to mirror my writing skills in a certain type of way like Sarah Adams, you know, so this book is great. The cheat sheet. Then I read Poison Study, which I actually did a video on this book. I ordered it based off of ChatGPT's recommendations. This book is by Maria B. Um, Cinder. Very good book. Also, it's technically a series. I do not plan on reading the rest of the books because I read about the rest of the books. I was like, eh, it doesn't really sound like my type of style but this first book was really good it basically the girl has to um she's on death row and she gets out of death row by becoming the king's food taster to test for poison and it's just really good it's fantasy it's romanticy the romance in this story i loved it was slow burn but it was subtle throughout the book and that's my favorite type of romance and it's also closed door romance very cute in the romance way but everything else oh this is not cute this is it's pretty dark <laughs> it's fantastical pretty like oh my gosh so i recommend this if you like fantasy and romance in a book i read fourth wing i just can't believe it took me so long to read fourth wing i already talked about this but no like guys i'm kind of mad at myself that i waited so long this is the definition of romance to see you just can't tell me it's not it felt like i was reading a heightened version of like divergent and hunger games in like every single childhood dystopian world that I love with the touch of dragons, magic, and just fun content warning for everything in this book. This is like 18 or older. Like this is no joke. It's very much a lot in every aspect. So beware. <laughs> okay. But I do highly recommend fourth wing. I loved it. I ate it up, stayed up all night. Delish. And then obviously last but not least, the book that I finished, Iron Flame. Iron Flame, Iron Flame, Iron Flame, the second book, The Fourth Wing, also delicious. I gave Fourth Wing a 5 out of 5. I give this, I think I give it a 5 out of 5 also. Maybe a 4.5 out of 5. The pacing's a little different, but I actually don't mind it, especially now that I'm like looking back at it. I'm like, okay, no, that was actually a good book. It was actually really good. So Iron Flame is just the sequel to Fourth Wing, and if you're going to read Fourth Wing, you got to read Iron Flame and enjoy yourself. All right, that concludes my February reading wrap up. It was literally four good books. I marked TBR, let's get into that. Wait For It was just on my TBR, but I literally just read it yesterday. I finished it, it's so good. I, five out of five, romance, contemporary, contemporary romance, forced proximity, age gap, two out of five spice level. So it's nothing crazy for this one, but extremely slow burn, um, unlikely friendship, just delish. Not enemies to lovers, but like a little bit of grumpy, like miscommunication. I don't even know. Just deliciousness. Read it. Oh, and single parent trope. Oh, like the biggest thing is the single parent trope. So read, wait for it if you love a good slow burn. Obviously by Marie Zapata, you cannot go wrong. I want to get to, I'm in this book. I just started it last night. So I finished wait for it yesterday during the day. I started this at night and I'm almost halfway through. I had to go to bed. I was tired. But Practice Makes Perfect, Sarah Adams. I said, any Sarah Adams book, I'm going to be buying now because I just like her after Cheat Sheet, the Cheat Sheet. So, yes, this book is actually really cute already. Closed door. She wants to know how to be a better dater. So it's just super cute. <laughs> um, oh, and The Guy's a Bodyguard, the main love interest. <laughs> okay, and then I want to get to Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. I just need to read some more Ali Hazelwood. I only read one. I didn't really like the one that I did read, but I hopefully would like this one. I want to get to half a soul. Very tentative, very tentative. <laughs> That's also fantastical. Oh my God, I just 
I think I just turned my camera. Oh, well, I'm going to get to the Spanish Love Deception by Elena. Is that her name? Elena what? What's her last name? Elena Armas. This book sounds super cute because it's a fake dating trope. I love fake dating tropes. How can you go wrong with a fake dating trope? Oh my God, I just keep tilting the camera. Ah! I also want to get to The Cruel Prince. This book I'm super excited for because I think it's supposed to be like enemies to lovers, fantastical, closed door, very exciting sounding. So yeah, I actually have a good amount of books to get to. Oh my God, oh my God, it's in the most main book from Blood and Ash. This is my most highly anticipated, this one and I would say Cruel Prince are like my highly anticipated books. I'm kind of salty because I'm supposed to read this with my friend, which means I have to go at a slower pace, which is fun. But like I like when I like a book, I like to like devour it. But I'm gonna have to pause and like enjoy each moment with the girl points. But this I plan on binge reading. I'm super excited for it. And yeah, from Blood and Ash, fantastical romance, romanticy. This is romanticy. I actually don't fully know what the book's about. I always forget. I just know it looked good. It sounded good. And I was like, sign me up for more romanticy. I'm also reading on my phone because I don't own this book. Um, the second book to Archer's Voice, Travis, by Mia Sheridan. So Travis is actually really cute already and good, and like sad boy vibes. Very much sad boy vibes. I said, shout out to you and the girls giving middle girl, sad girl, not girl. <laughs> not girl. <laughs> she's giving girl, but like she's giving in the middle vibes. Like she's not sad or like super happy, but I mean, she's happy, but she kind of wants, she could be happier. I don't know. I just like the fact that he's sad boy vibes and the girls kind of, I guess she's kind of more sunshine. I like, I guess she's a little bit more sunshine. I don't know. I'm just loving it already. So I'm reading two books right now, which is rare. I rarely read two books at the same time, but this is my physical copy book that I'm reading. And then Travis is my online book that I'm reading. So yes, I just tilted this camera so many times. I'm so sorry for that guys, but that's the end of this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what books you're reading and what books I should read. And let me know your thoughts on the books that I did read. Like, did you like them too? Did you hate them? I guess. I hope you did it. They were good. But guys, until next time, much love. Bye.